FL Studio Cool. FL Studio has two types of recording methods. One's based on Edison, the built-in audio editor recorder. The other's based on the playlist. Today we're going to look at the playlist recording method. So here we are with the project that we're planning to record audio into. Before you can record audio, there are a few options you need to set. First of all, you need an ASIO sound card driver selected. You do that from the options audio settings. And down the bottom of the list, you'll find your ASIO devices. Either select ASIO for all, or if you have a native sound card driver, use that. The other option to select is on the record button. Right click it and select audio. Make sure it has a tick next to it, otherwise you're not going to record anything. The final option to check is on the mixer disc recording menu. Make sure that you have auto create audio clip selected. That means the audio clip will automatically appear in the playlist. So we're ready to record. Audio enters FL Studio through the mixer track input menus. In fact, each mixer track has its own input menu, so you can record as many inputs as your sound card has. When I select an input from the menu here, you'll notice the mixer track that I'm currently using, which is 15. This little disc icon here will turn orange. That means the track is armed and ready to record. Here we go. So I'll just check with our lovely assistant Katie if she's ready. Press record, and we're ready to record audio. I am over it. Over, over. I am over it. Over it. Okay, thanks, Katie. And that's it. You'll notice that our audio clip has appeared in the playlist. And if I deselect record and press play, we've recorded our audio. And that's it, we're done. Next time we're going to look at loop recording with Edison. See you next time.